Hey everybody, it's Ryan. So today in the mail, I got something from Oxbeam. And as you can probably guess, since we have the combine behind us, we got a new light. So this is Oxbeam's C3 series 52 inch LED curved light bar. The one we put on the mule was a 5D projector. This is a 52 inch. So we decided that the light, both the lighting on the combine wasn't enough. So we decided to get a light bar for it. And we are going to install it, do a before and after, because the lighting on the combine just isn't enough. Once I get this unwrapped, I'll show you what it is. So here we got the light bar. We're going to mount this today uh, right on the front of the cab. Should be a little bit of a project, but I think we can get it done fairly quick. It should just fit right into the existing wiring that's there, so we won't have to put any additional wiring harnesses in. And uh, all we have to do is turn on the lights and it'll turn on with them. So, let's get started. Which side's the wire going on? Far side. Okay, now that mark should be right in the center of this bolt here. This is the center of the cable. Might as well right figure right that this one's the center. Is that your mark? Just to the right of it. How's that look, Travis? That says it's centered according to the... Hold it up, turn it down more. It's centered to me. Okay. Don't move on. Well, I can touch it. Good. All right, so we're filling this with silicone because we're putting spaces on there to get it further up off the cab so the light shines down closer to the cab. And this is waterproofing it. Should I fill it up or not? Okay, you can let go. We got the light all mounted up. Looks pretty good. Now we just gotta work on the wiring. Super bright. So we got that light mounted. Now what we're doing is we are taking this aux beam light. This is a spot beam light that I got from aux beam. I put its pair on the grain cart. So we're going to be mounting this one on the combine auger to make it a little bit brighter when we're unloading into the grain cart or this truck or whatever we're loading into. So I just drilled out the mount. Dad's doing the wiring and we should be about ready to go hook it up once we're done here and see how much brighter it is. Okay, 
Okay, that's good. and we did some work on the combine now we're gonna go down and pick up the corn head spin the combine around pull it back in straight now what we ended up doing in the cab here is we ended up putting the lights on a switch on a toggle switch so we're gonna take it out and I'll show you some of the comparisons of what it looks like outside then we're, we'll bring it in the shed we'll shut off all the lights and we'll do a comparison out there so Let's go pick up the corn head. All right, so firstly, I'm going to turn on all of the lights. So this is how bright it is, or how, by, how bright the combine lights were by themselves. The only difference here is that we had two lights down to each side of the cab that shines, shine the light down on the head. And I took those off the other day because we're replacing those with aux beams as well. We will do a video on those once they come in the mail, which they're expected to come tomorrow. So now I'm going to switch on the aux beam. Quite a difference. Now I'll shut off the main lights. You can't even hardly tell that they are on. We got some lightning over there. Dad was the one that wanted the aux beam on here. I think he's a little impressed. He's smiling. So, yeah, it'll really help light up the field in front of us and see what's coming. That one's a spot beam, but it works pretty well as a flood beam as well. It really shines the light straight down. We may have to adjust it some more. We'll know once we start unloading into the grain carts. But it's a lot brighter than the light that was on there. Even the what it does flood to the side was brighter than the light that had been on there pre previously. I would read somewhere that John Deere floodlights only output about 960 lumens some of them anyway these lights like the one that I have on the auger are supposed to output I think around 6,000 lumens or maybe it's 3,000 I think they're about four times brighter so maybe about 5,000 lumens it'll be cool to see what di what big a difference those floodlights will make that I got for the skirt of the cab too. They should make quite a bit of difference. Now, where we got the power for, from for the aux beam was through the windshield wipers. We figured that since we hardly ever use the windshield wipers anyway, and if we do use them, we probably aren't gonna be running the aux beam at the same time. So we just tapped it into the wipers, and that way the power to the aux beam is off when the switch is off.
Okay, this is a comparison test of the John Deere lights on the combine versus and with the aux beam lights that we just installed. So now here's the John Deere lights. There's the aux beam. <laughs> wow. And there's just the aux beam. That is crazy. John Deere lights. Nothing, just the ox beam. Now we're gonna have a look at the auger light. The auger light, the aux beam, and the John Deere headlights. So was it worth it? I think it answers itself, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to getting more of these lights installed. Um, like I said, we were planning, we are planning on putting on two more skirt lights on the bottom of the cab, and then I'm also thinking about doing two more lights to replace the back lights on the combine. So we might be doing the skirt lights tomorrow and hopefully I can get the rear lights by harvesting. If not, oh well. I mean, I think it's made quite a bit of difference already. So that should be about it for this video, guys. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description to the Oxbeam website where you can get these lights uh, on your own if you're looking to get these because people have bought Oxbeams because of my videos before because they're just so incredible. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. See you next time, guys. Don't go into the light! Yeah, that's almost going to be a staple from now on. At least in our combines, ox beam, on everything. Like you said, up till now, it's basically been like we've been running blind. Mm -hmm.